Registers are one of the key components of processors. Registers are the quickest and smallest stores of data we have in a computer, and they're held within the processor itself. The processor has many different registers, including six you need to know about. And the sixth one is often forgotten about. So let's see if you know it. PC stands for program counter. It holds the address of the next instruction to be executed. Make sure you get that bang on. You can't say it holds the next instruction because that's not true. The PC always has to stay one step ahead. That's why it has to increment during the fetch stage. Now the MAR stands for the memory address register. It holds the address of either the instruction or the data being fetched or written to. The MDR is like its non-identical twin. It stands for memory data register and it holds the actual data or instruction the MAR is referring to. It holds the actual data or instruction being fetched or written to. The current instruction register does what it says on the tin. It holds the instruction being executed right now. ACC is shorthand for the accumulator. This holds the result from an instruction that has been carried out. It works closely with the ALU because the ALU will do our maths and logic calculations. The results from these will go in the ACC. Now, what about that sixth secret register? What is that one? Well, that one is the index register. And it's often forgotten about because it comes from a later topic in the course about the modes of addressing. This register gets used by the index mode of addressing. Most often we use this mode when we are dealing with arrays. And in this case, the index register will hold the memory address of the first element of the array. This is sometimes called the offset. So why do we do this? Well, we've got an array stored in memory like this. I've got three items, A, B, C. They've got indices. As a programmer, we want to use the index numbers because they're simple to use. However, in reality, they've got a different memory address. So instead of us having to use 76, 77, 78, we put 76 in the index register. We then use the index mode of addressing, which will add the index number we're using to the index register and find the data at that location. So if I'm using index two, I'll add two to 76 to give me 78, which is where C is located.